This is WLKY. Live, local, late breaking. Your complete news coverage for Greater Louisville starts right now. Well, Wayside Christian Missions holding an annual fundraiser tomorrow, and I'm joined this morning by some special guests, Nita Mosley from Wayside Christian Mission and Ken Ellis from Wong's Martial Arts, along with students and instructors from Wong's Martial Arts, and they're here to demonstrate some of what you'll be seeing on tomorrow if you make that trip out. Thank you all for joining us today. Thanks Thank for you. having us, Monica. Yes, so Nita, if you would, a lot of folks that are from here, they're probably familiar with Wayside Christian Mission, but... For those who might not be as familiar, tell us a little bit about what you all do. Well, Wayside Christian Mission has been taking care of homeless men, women, and children in Louisville since 1957. Wow. And we can only do that with a lot of help from the community. Mm -hmm. Wong's Martial Arts is one of the fine businesses in the community that has helped us for years, has taken our people in, our children, and instructed them at no cost, and just been a wonderful community partner. That's awesome. And so how... This partnership came about, you said, a few years ago? Yes. Okay, and I'm sure that really helps the citizens, you know, get active, do something different, maybe do something they wouldn't have an opportunity to do. Right. And Grimace, tell us a little bit about the partnership. Well, Grandmaster Wong is very family oriented. Uh, his motto is a family that sticks together, kicks together. Ah. And we basically uh, help uh, Wayside Christian Mission with a lot of our community efforts of donations to their, to their cause and helping the homeless. Uh, we have four locations in which uh, we do the martial arts. Uh, one is on North Hurstbourne campus, mm -hmm. and there's a South Hurstbourne campus, uh, Preston Highway, and also St. Matthew's Place. Okay. So we're kind of like strategically placed with, throughout the community to help everyone. All right. uh, at this time, our uh, teams are doing some self-defense training. Okay. They're doing some of different color belts. Attention to this. Now we can still talk while they're doing this. Right. So this is what some of what they'll see tomorrow? Yes, this is what we'll see tomorrow. From the Young End University students, they'll be doing some high flying acts. These guys are world famous and they, they will be showing us a lot of uh, their techniques. Now, what you have here is Chance Zidell, who is a champion in, in Washington, D.C. area. He's using the bow staff. With the black belt, what we do is we teach all black belts different weaponry, and okay. he he chose the bow staff as his is a weapon of choice. And Chance, he is a doll. He's been training for three years. He's eight years old, and I know this because I have a niece who's eight years old. But he is very well spoken and very enthusiastic about what he does. Right. He has a trophy that's taller than he is. It's almost <laughs> six feet tall. Wow, that's amazing. So we appreciate you guys being here this morning. And again, we want to tell them about the gold. How much did you all raise last year? In 2007, when we first did the demonstration with Young In, it was two, uh, a little over $5,000. Wow. So now Young In is back this year. We're gonna, our goal is to double that a little over ten thousand dollars this year all right so you want to bring it up to the next level we want the community to come out and join us on sunday at from two to four okay. at bellman university at knights hall and basically if you go to those four locations i talked about earlier that will help you get the tickets early and then yeah. when you get to the door there are ten dollar donation at the door all right so ten bucks five bucks for kids at the door correct so a great show for the kids for families and nina if we could talk for a minute um, just for briefly about how important the needs are still in the summertime people always think about you guys during christmas and thanksgiving but do you all still have needs during the summer oh yes monica and the shelters are just cram packed right now especially with families a lot of single moms are becoming homeless due to losing a job mm. or their homes being foreclosed on and they're in the shelters the shelter has a long long waiting list so the needs are just as as heavy as they are during the winter months there well, we hope you all certainly reach your ten thousand dollar goal and hope you see lots of folks out there at Bellman tomorrow thank afternoon you. Yes. thank you Maria. thank you for having us mm -hmm. sure thing